Huh, huh, hello and welcome. Tonight on the show, we're coming down your chimney and out of your speakers with Duplin's Christmas Wine Jelly. It's a boozy good time we're having here. We are so excited to have you. This is Sauce Spoken. And we're back. We are Sauce Spoken. We're the podcast detailing your favorite sauces, dips, and condiments. My name's Adam, and I'll be your host, and I'm joined here this week by my co-host, Tori. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas and a Happy Saucemas to you. My name is Tori. And to my right, stay tuned for after the show, because he's going to be performing Goo Goo Dolls Greatest Hits on his mouth harp, our good friend and co-host E. Hi, E. How you doing? But only their Christmas ones. Did you only, warm, only their Christmas songs. Did you warm do. up your harp? I haven't warmed up at all. In fact, I've been, you know, keeping the, the temperature down low. And now it's time low. to <laughs> catch up with the host. Time to catch up. Yes, it's December. It's cold. Eric, We're approaching. Week this week? <laughs> it's been good for the most part. Other than the fact that it's been damn cold the last few days. I don't want to turn on the heat. Is your heat not on right now? Of course it's on. I was going to say, it's pretty toasty in here. Like, yeah. I don't like the... I don't... I fear the bill. Believe me. You fear the bill? Fear the bill. Like most bills. All the bills. You can get that shit on, all a, on a payment plan, you know, like a budget plan. Yes, I could, but no, I don't need to. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm really... I'm okay. I can pay the bill. No, but it doesn't... I'm Please saying, donate to SawSpoken.com. They, 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 right? <laughs> they just average out your bill through the year. It's not like a... It's not like a... It's not like a charity thing. <laughs> High interest loans. Right. No, yeah. I just, you know, the electric bill goes down and the heat bill goes up and then... So it already bounces it just, out. It just balances saying. out. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's all fine. All right. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. I was just hamming it up, but not well enough, I no. guess, to be actually funny. You guys look seriously concerned. It's hard to take <laughs> things... It's hard to know how serious you are with things because the things that you say in jest are sometimes even less wild than the things you say in seriousness. Okay. Noted. We had to ask you if we could use your toaster today. <laughs> <laughs> no one else, everyone else. No, just you really assumed. didn't have to, but you Tori chose to. actually had to actually verify you had a toaster on the premises <laughs> because it is something that you might not have. Which, if you notice, I did not respond back to. You want to talk about real concern. Uh, your text messages today were a little bit concerning. I thought you were running a fever. Oh, what did he say? Yeah, my man was answering questions of his own. Oh, he, yeah, I do. Post questions that. and answer them. I, oh my, That's I, why I didn't respond. Sounds like you, by the way. you got everything pretty well locked up there, my man. <laughs> you don't even need me. Plus, he was talking about trying this sauce tonight on Nugs, which is jumping the gun ahead. We won't, we won't get quite there yet. But yeah, Eric is a. Uh, did you start drinking already yet tonight, Eric? Is that what's <laughs> going on? How much have you drank? I do have that Advent calendar of beer that I'm trying to work my way through. Oh my god, he's uh, yeah. drunk. Today's Today, the ninth. Today's the ninth, and I'm still on. I've only had three. Did we oh, tell I'm the listeners about what happened the last time we were drinking with you? About how you. I don't. Did we talk about this on air? I, I don't remember. Think so. You. We were drinking at one point with our our guest from last week. We were drinking and playing board games, and I don't know exactly know what happened. But at some point, you Neither said do I. you stumbled upstairs after we left, <coughs> and you said you fell into your closet door hard enough to what it sounds like permanently break it. I think I might be able to repair it. I haven't yet, but it's, it's still broken. <laughs> At some point, you puked all over the shirt you had on, and then so you threw another shirt on on top of that, and then immediately went to bed. That's how it seems, anyways, from what I could tell in the morning. But you don't remember any of this happening. <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> what I find to be a terrible tragedy is that if you only had an operating bathroom upstairs, you may have been able to make that, it. I think, I strongly think that's... I, that is the rationale of putting another shirt on over a puke stain. One is the rationale of a person who doesn't have a shower that functions on that same floor. Wow, that's my that's my philosophy. I don't think I was of rational mind to have <laughs> yeah, done anything. You're assuming a lot there. Yeah, yeah. I just anything would, I would I love to have been a fly on the wall during those wee hours of the night to find out what actually transpired because I feel like you must have done you must have drank more after we left. That's the only thing that no. would explain those actions. No, it was really weird because, like, I know I said goodbye to you guys. You don't remember, so don't say no. The I waitress slipped your roofie. That was that X Man night, so maybe we did talk about it. Oh, I don't yeah, think, I I don't think we, we, we didn't talk did. about it on the podcast. We didn't go into detail. I think we said that Eric had a little bit, way too much to drink. I think that's what we <laughs> and said. Left it at that, which is probably 
Let's go into even more Ideally detail. where it right. belongs. <laughs> no, it's more fun to talk about it in depth. This is like your. This is actually a public intervention tonight here, Eric. Wow. Uh, Tori and I and all the listeners. And all the are, listeners are here home. to talk to you. Yep. We just want to help, Eric. We just want you to be okay. <laughs> yep. Maybe I should swear <laughs> off alcohol. Sure. Taking oh, taking boy. all kinds of hard stances and nuclear approaches. So how was the rest of your week, Eric? <laughs> Get rid of your refrigerator. I'm not going to keep any more alcohol cold if i if it's not cold i'm not gonna drink it so therefore i'm gonna get rid of my refrigerator there before you go. The show, nothing you were, but bourbon yeah the before, best before the show we said you we came in and you're talking about selling your lazy boy because you thought that if you didn't have a chair to come home to and sit in that you wouldn't be able to curl up and take a nap immediately which you don't have a couch in there anymore in your living room you Correct. got rid of that you only have one singular lazy boy in there. But if like I if a guest it out, wants to come over and watch a movie, she's sitting on your lap. <laughs> or the floor. <laughs> or the floor. Or the floor. And you're now you're talking about even getting rid of that. Absolutely. And then just putting a, another <laughs> card table out there. Um, I already canceled my cable, so the only thing to cancel left is really Netflix and just sell the TV, which is par- probably the next step, the next logical step. Just, you know, wow. downsize. Less is more. I am actually seriously starting to talk about an intervention here now because this is like the first step that people do before they kill themselves. They're like, I'm going to give away all my possessions. <laughs> I don't have a will, so I'm not going to kill myself. <laughs> That's the only thing holding him back. That's right. The only procrastinate, thing. His procrastination of doing things like making a will is the only thing preventing that <laughs> at this point. Oh, boy. Well, this got really morbid on yeah, Christmas. Yeah, wow. That's dismal. Right. So anyways, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Uplifting yeah. Christmas nice. episode for everyone. My week. Yeah. I've, I've wrapped some presents so far. There I've had go. a good up, week up. at work. We've been listening to Christmas carols the whole time. Um, there's lots of sweets and cookies coming into the office, which is driving my coworker batshit crazy. Because, Your work wife. Yeah. Amy, she can't eat it. Identifier. We talk about it every episode. It drives her nuts. Eric does. Eric, I had to, I can't help but bring her up because it's part of my week. <laughs> most important girl in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the most time I've ever spent with a girl. Period in my oh, life. Yeah, I mean. eight hours a day. I have way too close to her. You spend more time waking hours with Tori's wife than he does. Than he does. <laughs> it seems that way. Mm. Brutal. <laughs> I understand Woo. his pain now, and at least anyway. So. <laughs> it's a good thing Amy won't listen to this. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> well, it doesn't pertain to lifting. It all gets back to her anyways, because Tori tells her. No, all no, stuff. I ain't gonna say a word. <laughs> he's yeah, he's he's got his head screwed on right. He knows what's good for him. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, Tori? How about your week? What's uh, what's been new with you? It's mm. Christmas time. This is our Christmas episode. You're a Christmas man. I am a Christmas man. I've got all my cards out in the mail, and I'm so excited about it. I got your card. I got your card. It's on my fridge that I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell the fridge because, you know, yeah, can't have cold alcohol. Card and all. That's right. So, yeah, I got my Christmas cards out. That's always a nice thing. And uh, I starred in the church's Christmas play recently. That's right. Yeah. You were the narrator, correct? I was the narrator, believe it or not. What YouTube channel can the listeners find us on? (laughs) It's got to be on the internet somewhere, right? Uh, yeah. I, 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 Some grandma was videotaping it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll leave uh, it in the show notes. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's... Uh, I sound like E, but I've been busy, 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 you know, Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping. I, um, I, I got the 30-day Amazon Prime freebie. Nice. Nice. So, I'll cash in on that for Christmas shopping as per Cancel. every year. I already got the reminder in my phone for on the 28th day, cancel that horse shit. Yeah, because I don't want it and I don't need it. And I ain't certainly going to polish Bezos' chrome dome if I <laughs> if I can help it. That's the last thing he needs. He can send dick rockets up on his own yeah. cash for all I care. Yeah, right. So uh, he can sit and spin on that. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah I'm, I'm getting her done. I haven't started rapping yet. Give us a rap. Give us a Christmas rap. Oh, Sorry. no, absolutely not. Yo, yo, yo. It's Christmas time. Uh, Ooh. I'm uh, good start. Cooling things down in my fridge and sipping on moonshine. Mm. Uh, the eggnog's flowing. I'm filling it up with whiskey. Uh, Amy's at home longer than normal, so I'm finna get frisky. What? He's I have to be for, for you. you. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not gonna be frisky with your wife. Maybe Eric is at <laughs> yeah, work. I don't yeah, know. Say this is really good. It's going for you. It's in a, a direction Christmas that I don't. I don't like. Give us your best, Chris. I gave wow. you two verses. Give us a verse, Eric. Come on, it's Christmas time. Hit us up. We just got done getting frisky with Amy. Or you're being Tori. You got to give us a line for Tori. <laughs> give us the first. We'll sit here as long as it takes. Oh, man. We're going to be here a long time. Only one verse. I don't rap. <laughs> you don't? 
No, oh, how about that? Oh, I thought you freestyled on the All weekends. the time. Yeah, it's a, it's a hobby of mine. Boom, 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 Looking to hide my gifts <laughs> in some place that isn't risky. <laughs> Only thing I can figure out. Rhyme no, is frisky. No, 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 no. That, I already completed that oh, rhyme. You got to oh, start your own. You got to go two lines. Two whole lines on my own. No, no, no. The boom, boom, the boom, 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 the boom, boom. This is four Tories, so I can't do anything about 3D printing or board games. Yeah, dude, you can do whatever you want. Do it for yourself. If you can't come up with anything for Tory, do it for yourself. Eric, come on. It's two things that rhyme. Pick two words that rhyme and put a sentence. Um, Talk about your chores. I, I don't care. Right. <laughs> Something. Eric, you can rhyme words. You know how to rhyme words. I know this. I need a bathroom that works. I should go on to Instagram and be a good smurf. Yeah. Be a good and hit smurf. us with them likes. It doesn't even rhyme. I guess it does. I hit know. us with them lights. What do you got, Behind e? the Christmas lights. That's why I don't rap or listen to rap either. Come on, Eric. Get in the mood. We got to give the listeners something good for Christmas. Sipping on water. Gonna make some piss. Uh, Gonna get... Frisky uh, with Amy. <laughs> oh, this is really going downhill <laughs> fast. Yeah, only twelve minutes. In. Painful. And we're gonna sit here until it gives us one, ri- two rhyming sentences, one, one that rhymes with the other. That's all. Just something about your week, maybe Eric. I don't know. Getting ready. Got lazy my Christmas boy. beers, and they really make bring the cheer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I give it to us on a rap voice. Oh, no. Got please. my no, Christmas no. Abbott beer. Hey, I do want to show you guys something, though. Oh, dear God. Here's a gun. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Shoot me now. <laughs> End this. Oh, it's a gun! Oh, wait, what is that? Dice oh, it's trader. a dice tower. It's a dice tower. Very cool. I took it to work, and then just so I could show it off, and then I got accused the next day at work for being an Indian giver, because Amy was so enthralled with it. You can't say that word anymore, Eric. Enthralled? Indian. <laughs> Indian giver. Along with the Indians, you know, I don't even know what the... What is the team now? I don't even know what they're called now. Uh, that's a good question. Is it the... Uh, I know they got changed to something. Oh, man. Yeah, they did get changed to something. Uh, the Cleveland it? Guardians. Guardians. Is that what it is? Okay. That's what it is. The Guardians. baseball team is the Guardians now? But yeah. Pretty cool dice tower that I printed for a Christmas present and no, not for... It is pretty cool. My coworker, Amy. Are you going to paint it? Um, I was debating, like, throwing just a primer on it, just so it'd be, like, ready for painting for the person I gifted to, but, I don't know, I might not. Who are you gifting it to? My me? sister-in-law. That's pretty whack. You're not gonna print me one? <laughs> 52 <laughs> hours. I could, I mean, I could print one. It takes quite a bit of film. <sighs> yeah, it came out cool, and, uh, we'll definitely put a picture of it on the, uh, show notes, so. Or the Instagram. Or the Grizzly Graham. Or the Graham. The Grizzly Graham. Pass that on to Tori because that's his. We certainly won't be putting any raps out anytime soon. So, uh, yeah. No, definitely not. Don't hold your breath for any platinum records. And I'm Ugh. really disappointed in you, Eric. I think you could have done a little better than that. Something with cheer and beer. You could have done Christmas cheer and Christmas beer or something. I don't know. A little bit, like at least lines of equal length. Well, as we mentioned before, getting bound to business, this is our Christmas episode, as we mentioned. And with that being said, Tori. You brought a little present for us on this Christmas episode. Do you want to go ahead and tell the listeners what we're looking at here this week? Sure. I haven't even looked at this jar really all that closely. I uh, Sort of an interesting story about this. I got this as a Christmas present. Ooh. I sound like E, but <laughs> probably about two years ago. Oh. Y- yeah. I didn't realize it was that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was unopened. I haven't opened it, haven't touched it, and sat in the fridge its entire life. I mean, wine copious amounts of sugar well tell the listeners what it is i'm building oh, okay, the suspense okay, okay. I'm <laughs> in goodness suspense. you want to go ahead and do it for me no what we have here is duplin's christmas wine jelly and we have a very nice homely picture not homely but uh, yeah it's a uh, homely yeah who of uh of jolly old saint nick it looks like he's reading a reading a note and there's his wife, which I uh, is not Amy, I, I know, uh, believe that or not, but that's mi- not. Mrs. Claus. Um, Santa getting frisky with her? Uh, I don't know. And uh, and a uh, and a glass of wine, and of course Saint Nick is holding a glass of wine. There. He is so there you frisky. go. It's uh, it's Duplin's 
wine Christmas jelly. So Are you they, sure it's not Duplin's? Duplin's. I couldn't tell you what it is, to be very frank with you. What about Duplin? Maybe. I don't know if there's a till day on there or not. Maybe for the <laughs> maybe for the sake of consistency. There is an M there. Um, but um, yeah, Duplin's, Duplin's. Well, maybe not Dublin's. Well, so was this like a secret Santa gift exchange, or do you not want to reveal the person who gifted this to you? My in aunt. Case they listen. My okay. aunt. And she's, believe it or not, not a wine aunt. She's, she's not? Uh, no. Like 100% sober. Doesn't drink. Well, I wouldn't say 100% sober, but probably 98%. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Maybe like a drink a month. Hmm. And she's right. local. I mean, oh, you're, from, you're from here, so. Yeah, from guess, naturally, yeah. Sense Is uh, she single? Sounds like Eric's interested. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm more interested. Like, I just want to know, like, I mean, it's been in your fridge for two years. Curiosity never, like, nope. peaked to nope. inquire with her about the history or why this came about or how this came about the or history. why it ended up in your. <laughs> All right. I, I'm, I'm digging for, like. It started like, on the yeah. Underground Railroad. <laughs> 1865. I want to know where I can buy this stuff. I thought it was, you know. Duplins.com, bro. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, we found the website for him. <laughs> Duplin Gourmet Foods. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. My aunt got the, got the insider scoop on Christmas wine jelly. Maybe she knows the guy that's on the cut on the label. I Maybe not. I would doubt it. And my best guess is that it was a gift that she knew she wasn't going to eat, so she gave it to me because it had said wine on it. All right. Yeah. That's kind of funny. There's no history. Yeah. There's no sentimental value. There's none of that horse shit. Who do I know that likes booze? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Young Tori yeah. will like this. <laughs> certainly, she missed I mean, the mark a little bit. I mean, God love her, you know. If it was Yingling jelly, you'd been all over it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it would have made it a day. I'm not hard, man. I'm an open book. Right. Yeah. What would Yingling jelly taste like? Maybe we'll save this for our recipes. Oh, well, throw some Xanthan gum in it and find what? out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't even think of that. We could. Oh, We've we got could. more Xanthan gum. Is there, there was a jelly oh, that damn, had like scary. there was like a champagne jelly. I, did we we didn't try that on the show. I don't remember where the heck I had this. Miller Light, the champagne of beers jelly, right? Ooh. Just about it. It actually had like so it was, had champagne in it, and like your like tongue that like kind of like popped and fizzled. You know, as like you were eating it. It's really interesting jelly. Hmm. I would be curious to see what beer would be like with the xanthan gum in it. I feel like it would be a mess. A oh, mess. I feel, like the, mess yeah, like, that, I feel yeah. like the carbonation would cause problems with that. Yeah. Could you do a Serto gel instead of Xanthan gum? A what now? Serto gel? I don't know what that is. It, you use to make gelatin. Oh, okay. Probably. It's like the brand. Yeah, probably. I mean, rather than Xanthan gum, because I would imagine you'd probably need some sugar in there too, right? I mean, that's the whole idea behind yeah, jelly. Yeah, probably wouldn't hurt. Probably a good idea. But uh, without further ado, Eric, do you want to go ahead and give us a little visual description of the outside of the container that we're looking at there? Sure, I'd be happy to. We have ourselves a octagon. Yes. No. One, two, three. Nope, it's definitely a hexagon. <laughs> Make a rap about it. <laughs> Small brain time. <laughs> yeah. A boom, boom. <laughs> it's a, uh, a hexagon-shaped jar, glass jar, maybe uh, about, yeah, we'll say, three and a half inches tall. Um, How many is that in uh, centimeters for the listeners? Uh, what would it be? Like 20... No, no, it'd be like, it'd be like <laughs> Jesus, yeah, two, I was thinking millimeters. <laughs> I'm definitely not impressed now. Yeah. I'm, I'm making shit up. Right? What was it? 2.5 centimeters per inch, so you're looking at literally 10 centimeters. Ooh, struggle. Okay. Definitely closer there. Yeah, definitely closer. Anyways, brain's not working today. Like I said, small brain time. Uh, gold, <laughs> gold uh, lid on it. Uh, it's got that, you know, typical of a, you expect of a jelly jar to have that like little button depression and uh, depression in the middle to make sure it's not been popped. No poppage going on here, bro. Despite its age, <laughs> <laughs> right? The label goes about a little over halfway around the uh, hexagon shaped jar, leaving a uh, half back half of it very open so you can s- see what it looks like. Um, it says Duplin Gourmet Foods on the top. Duplin. 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 <laughs> in a, uh, on a brown background on like a We will have said it every you can say it. Hey, that's, that's right. right. One it's of got them will be right. A gold banner around it. And then Shotgun it's got, approach. yeah, like Tori was saying there, uh, St. Nick and uh, Mrs. Claus or however you want to, you know, Santa and, Sa- and Mrs. Claus there. Santa there. and old St. Nick. <laughs> that's right. All one and the same. It's all the same person. It's kind of cool. Looks, um, got snowflakes on it. It says... Executive Chef William B. Fussell of Duplin Gourmet Foods. That's a made-up name. Of course it is. What's finally made? William B. William B. Fussell. Fussell. That's mm-hmm. a made-up name. That's an elf name if I ever heard one. <laughs> He's finally made many of his popular food products available to you, and they are from uh, Rose Hill, North Carolina. Not. Persephone, New Jersey. That doesn't seem like a very Christmassy place to me. Like I feel like places in the South don't have real Christmas because there's no snow. What? Mm. 
Yeah. It's fake Christmas down there, bro. Man, if I lived in Florida, my Christmas tree would absolutely be a palm tree. Heck yeah. No doubt. They do that down there. And, you know, Christmas isn't about snow. I don't know. That's a fucked up thing to say, Adam. <laughs> Hold on a second. I had something else to say about this Christmas in the South thing. Oh, of course I remember, you do. You distract me. I don't remember what it was now. Hard Dude. opinionated stances here. He was That's saying that there's no snow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was. I, I know I was saying that I think you need snow for Christmas, but Eric was saying some other bullshit about whatever, and I was going to dress him down for it, but... <laughs> of course he was. <laughs> of course he was. Um, yeah, but without further ado, I'll get on to the visual description of what we're looking at inside the bottle. And I think it's interesting to note it's it a is a... Oof. Is a ruby red. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you on these things. <laughs> it's a ruby red, uh, I would say, color. I really actually like the color. I find it a very pleasing red. I it agreed. Is, very much so. I would say very translucent. Like, you can't see all the way through the bottle because the label takes up more than half of the bottle. But if you kind of look through the side, you can see, like, your fingers through it on the other side. So I would say that you could definitely, like, make out rough outlines through it. Like, it's that level of transparent. It does look more like jello, I think, than jelly in in some instances. But to me, it mainly looks like if you, I don't know if you ever had like a jello shot that like sat out in the sun for too long and it got like liquidy again, you know, because the temperature got too warm. That's what this reminds me of. It's very, very runny compared to most jellies. I feel like I feel like most jellies, if you get them in a jar, they're sort of like, pretty stiff. Yeah, they're like in one solid blob. You have to kind of like break them up to slather them on toast. Whereas this, I feel like you could pour on almost like a thick syrup onto a piece of toast if you wanted. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know if that is because of the wine consistency. I wouldn't even really say it's necessarily much of a wine color. I think it's actually lighter than wine in color and actually possibly also more transparent than wine in color too. I would say so. Oh, yeah. Even on this white plate. I mean, it's... It's pink. Like, it's a very, very yes. light pink. I it guess is, it depends on the wine. They make blush wines. They make blush wines. I'm not quite sure how it could be I didn't say more clear, wine, more translucent Eric. than wine. That That is what you said. Are more you trying translucent to ruin my wine. Christmas episode? <laughs> oh, it's you, already ruined. You did that earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I do think it's interesting on the plate. If you put some on a plate, it does kind of tend to be like one blob. And then there's like a liquid snail trail that follows it around. Have you mm, noticed that? Yes. Yeah, where there's kind of a more a more liquidy component in there. So it's not perfectly homogenized. And it does, if you look at the side, it has a very like interesting shingling uh, complexion to it. It actually, because of the way it sticks to the side wall of the glass, it actually kind of makes it look like a stained glass effect. Almost. That's exactly what I was going to say. A stained right. glass window. I yep. know you were talking about churches earlier, but that's what that kind of reminds me of. So maybe that was just... Uh, power of suggestion but that's what i'm getting out of it i do like the i actually i think i like the consistency better for putting on toast it's actually easier to work with it's just i'm afraid that we had some pretty well toasted bread tonight to try this on but i'm afraid that it would sog up your bread a little bit that would be my only concern like if you want to make like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that wasn't toasted i'm afraid it would sog the bread up a little bit too much because of all that wine and like like seems like that fluid wine yeah liquid mm. inside of this uh a pb and j that's a bold move man you think you think with this with this jelly with that think? particular j yeah, yeah I'm, i I'm, think that's a bold move yeah i'm kind of inclined to agree with you uh for reasons i think will become clear hopefully but i say without any further ado let's get on to the initial tasting notes I want to say one thing really quick and this is just because this is just chronological the way that we tried this but i was the first one to open this and as soon as i cracked it open i went ooh. Like, I've been punched in the face because this stuff has a powerful, pungent odor coming off of it. It, it smells like Tori's aunt that's maybe on her one night of drinking. I told year. you, he has one drink a month. <laughs> well, I, I, this is like kissing her on the night that she's been had a little bit too much wine. She's not a wine aunt. A rank with wine, I will say. This is like, it's like wine to the 10th degree somehow. This stuff reeks like wine. It's like distilled somehow. Like, it's more wine per wine than wine. I know we've said that before. But without further ado, Eric, do you want to go ahead and lead us off with your initial tasting notes? All I heard was wine, 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 wine. That's I don't know. I, I think I think it smells... Some cheese with that wine and everything will be fine. Yeah, it smells like wine. Back I, it to doesn't, It doesn't smell... <laughs> It doesn't smell pungent or or, or or bad in any way. I don't I don't want the listeners I didn't to say think it that, bad. that it's bad at all yeah, bad. Or, or strong, really. I mean, this isn't boozy, really. I mean, it, it clearly smells like wine, but well, it's not like... You don't think it's it smells It's not wine boozy. concentrated. It's not 
10 times more, you know, wine oh, smelling than wine. It, you really it, don't think so? I don't think so. I think it smells like the same amount as any old bottle of wine that you'd open up. I thought this smelled like to when me. you open up like a bottle of Everclear and you know it like singes your wow. nose hairs off. That's yeah. how strong I I don't get that smelled. at all. I think it smells very nice. It smells like a regular bottle of wine. Well, this is coming from the function al- alcohol like we've just mentioned. Exactly. So. Yeah, yeah. It smells so. like a normal Tuesday night to me. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> right? And and uh, initial tasting notes was, my thought was, um, if this is what jelly can be, I might have jelly more often. I'm not a big jelly fan. Maybe but even shots of jelly. Yeah, this is pretty darn tasty. Yeah. I, I thought it was good. It's very sweet, but it's... Um, I didn't notice your hands steadied a lot after you started having some of this. Thanks. They were shaking yeah. pretty bad, and they seem like they've steadied down now. I, I really could use more of it, but yeah. yeah. You're going to start wrapping any second now. <laughs> <laughs> the jelly said <setting> in. <laughs> um, yeah, I do also wonder if you know the fact that it's been sitting for two years, usually if a jelly is opened and sitting for prolonged periods of time, it will begin to sugar and actually get more stiff. And I know that because I age foods all the time in right. my fridge. Right. Oh. So it's never happened to me, but I, okay, right. I trust yeah. you. <laughs> Truly, yeah, trust me. It's exactly what happens. It, it goes to sugar. It, it starts to sugar. Starts it's a part of life, man. It gets diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> it gets old, you know. <laughs> Things happen. Oh. So I thought it was really interesting that this was yeah, extra runny. And I don't know if it's just maybe Yeah, I don't I don't know if it has age has anything to do with it or Maybe it was like this on day one when you got it. So well, it wouldn't be getting thinner, surely, right? You said that they would get they get the right. sugars and they get thicker. And right? They get thicker. I would expect it to get thicker. I don't know if there's something that the wine does that maybe you know it causes it to thin over time. The I alcohol think you might be onto something there. I, exactly. I was right. going to say alcohol is a solvent. I actually wondered about that. If that was something like it couldn't whatever gelatin in there couldn't quite a- achieve its full consistency because of the solvent nature of alcohol. Exactly. So hmm. I don't know if it's the high test wine they're putting in this. Thing. Yeah. And then that may be that it was like that before, or the fact that he decided to age this wine jelly a little bit, like me. It, in in my in my uh, wisdom of aging things, I w- I age everything. So. <laughs> Two years is a long time, but I will be fair that it's a Christmas jelly. When you got this, we weren't doing a, po- a wine, a sauce podcast at that point, so you didn't really have a reason to try it. We could have done it last year, but we forgot. I think totally you remember. Forgot. You remember like oh, the week after we did it, didn't you? Didn't you say something like, "Oh, I had the perfect thing we should have done, and we totally biffed it." Oh, jeez, oh, what a save then, huh? <laughs> Oh, that's I forgot, perfect. I forgot to do a nice fun Christmas thing. We didn't do our last year. We had that fun. We had a nice Sauce-mas. wholesome. Yeah. yeah, we had the whole thing. Spiel. Wholesome. Man, wholesome. I can't believe that was a year ago. Man. Yeah, believe Maybe that we'll or have not. to do something for next week for the New Year's or something like that. New Year's Let's Eve. See what I can whip up this year. The listeners, we got a really good episode last year, and this year all the people got was a lame ass, half assed Christmas wrap. Sort of, sort of, barely. That's what I said. But we have some nice Christmas wine jelly, though. So that's the real key is, hey, we're doing a a very thematic, awesome sauce provided by Tori. Awesome sauce. And uh, yeah, what did you think, Tori? What was your thoughts on it? I thought it tasted like a big old glass of Welch's Concord grape juice. Wow. Yeah. I mean, well, obviously with wine, but I mean, grapey, 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 grapey. Yeah. I mean, to me... (laughs) hammering on the church thing again i felt like i was at communion oh yeah yep you know yeah, i mean sure. that is uh, that's that i mean it, it was a it was probably a sweet wine to begin with I would- it, well it's funny you should mention that because i i was looking at the jar earlier and i peeked at the ingredients and i did notice that the third one down there was blood of christ <laughs> so i thought that <laughs> oh, was good. interesting you know get cleansed it's good for you but um Tori's sneaking us into heaven <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> put everyone, He's put everyone under my jacket. Over, yeah. Come on with me. <laughs> oh, I got enough room in the truck. But um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it tasted like a communion wine. I, I, I it was probably a, a sweet wine to begin with. Um, but you know, in its wine life, prior to it getting involved with gelatin and sugars and whatnot, so that would be my guess. Um, but yeah, man, it was it was dang delicious. I spilled a little bit off of my plate, of course, as it's a function of being so runny. And I'm just schlacking it up with my finger, and I'm just having a good old time doing it. I have a bit of a sticky finger, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to clean it off on E's carpet. Nice. nice. So, um, yeah, I'll give it a little spit shine. Color will match perfectly. It'll match. I am not. Yeah, I know. He's okay with it. Could only help the carpet, really. So, so yeah. So, outside of that, ah, uh, boy, um, I, uh, E, I'm in agreement with you. I thought it was a taste treat, a Christmas treat, and I liked it. And it was a, a boozy Concord grape delight okay 
for me personally, so as we mentioned, we tried this on toast that Tori provided, and uh, Eric so generously allowed us to use his toaster. His toaster. Had to pay the quarters. Exactly, had 45 the seconds. That's right. And pay per toasting. Yes. PPT. I think I, uh, yeah, cash on deposit. I think I tried, I think I tried a, a pretty good healthy dollop of this on the, on the toast. For me personally, I like the flavor of it. I didn't quite get the Concord grape thing you're talking about, Tori. Like, I did notice a little bit of, like, some grape flavor, and it kind of just tasted like generic jam to me, which I thought was good. It was definitely sweet and sugary. For me personally, I couldn't get over what I thought was a immensely overpowering, like, smell of booze, like raw alcohol. Like, to me, this, like, I'll smell a glass of wine. It smells like wine. This didn't even smell like wine. This smelled like straight up, like, Everclear or something to me. Like, I thought it was literally like burning my nose hairs off. Now, let me riddle you this, Batman. Do you okay. think that is a function of you being the guy to open it? And you got uh, those initial vapors, and by the time it got to E and I, it was all dissipated. Yeah, possibly. Quite possibly. Um, but I'm talking about even on the toast, I got it, too. Hmm. Yeah, I got it. I got it even after... After it had been opened and passed around and then tried, it was still getting it on the toast. Mm. And I put on a, you know, like I said, a decent amount, but not a super thick layer. But yeah, I don't know. It was just like flashing off in my nose and I was really getting a, a heavy booze smell, which was confusing to me. I won't say it was bad. I think it would take some getting used to. It was definitely an interesting flavor. Uh, it's just not something I'm used to in that setting, I guess. Um, like, I don't mind the taste of alcohol. I just don't associate it with like a warm, crunchy, sweet thing. You know, that's that was what was throwing me off a little bit. But I didn't think it really had any other like particularly notable flavors other than, you know, sweet, loosely grape flavored and then banging booze, you know. Hmm. That was my thoughts. So I'm, I'm surprised you guys are so different than from me. Yeah, I thought the booze was it was there. It was prevalent. But I, I certainly wouldn't say it was overwhelming. Wow. No, okay. not at all. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess with uh, with that being said, I am curious to know what's actually in this. I did take an accidental quick sneak peek earlier, but I, I think for the listener's sake, I want to see where wine ranks in the ingredients here. So it's going to be time for Eric's favorite segment of the show, the ingredients. Or, real quick, last question. Do you know, Adam, the process? You, you've made jelly, right? I mean, you've done canning and whatnot, so you've you made know jelly. The jelly man. Or you made jelly, Tori? The Maybe. jelly man. The I'm jelly sure Adam man. has. No, I've actually never made jelly. I've only done okay. canning for things that are like vinegar based hmm. and tomato based a little bit. Uh, I don't mess with jams and jellies, partially because it's a little bit of a different process. You have to be a little bit more careful. Sugar is a preservative, too, in its own right, but you have to get, like, the concentration right because sweet things like that with a lower acidity can be a little bit more dangerous if you're not careful with your canning. Hmm. So I go through things that are, like, foolproof, like pickles, which, honestly, even if you didn't can them correctly, it's pretty unlikely that they would be in any harm from anything, so. Okay. I guess I was, well, I was a child when my mom was making jellies. And like crab, like we had like made crab apple crab? jelly. Oh, yeah, crab jelly. We're mashing no, up crab crabs. apple. <laughs> hey, who hasn't gathered around the pot to mash up some crabs and boil them and can them? Crab apple jelly, and uh, we made. Uh, I don't think it was great. I think we, we made blueberry jelly. Anyways, you you, you heat it, and right. then you know while you're while you're actually cooking and making the I don't know the the jelly I guess Goop. right the, the mush yeah right and then I think even when you like pretty much pour it into the cans and can it it's still pretty fluid and then I like. Well, it's hot. Because it's hot, exactly. And then, it, like, when it cools, it actually gels, right? Yeah. And alcohol, of course, evaporates out. So, I mean, there, it's not like this has, actually has any kind of, like, alcoholic rating or anything because it's cooked and the alcohol is pretty much, the spirits are taken out of it, is what I'm what I'm getting to, I would I would imagine. I mean, uh, hmm. I mean it could, maybe. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. You got me, man. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. No, we'll take a look probably, at the ingredients. Oh, I think you're probably right, but I do have a comment on that after the ingredients. So, we have here tonight our Christmas jelly ingredient, Christmas wine jelly ingredients. And serving size is one tablespoon. Blah, blah, blah. That's nutritionist facts. Ingredients. Aha. Sugar, duplin, okay. Christmas wine, pectin, and citric acid. Well, that is pectin. very... Pectin. That's that Serto gel stuff. Pectin, yeah. Refrigerate after opening. So, okay. yeah, there's really a whole, not, whole lot are not going on really here. Sugar. No bang, bang, either. Wine, pectin, and citric acid. Wow. So I, I know you were saying, here's what I was curious about, because I know you're saying like, um, oh, they don't have to list the alcohol percentage because, you know, it's boiled off, you know, blah, 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 and they can't. But I don't know if that's necessarily true, because if you think about it, they have like cooking wine, 
which has a high, you know, can have uh, some of that's even fortified, so it can be a pretty high percentage of wine, but it's rendered like n- undrinkable because they put salt into it. And I wonder if it's something like this where because it's in like a food product where you can't just be like drinking a glass of jelly, you know, I wonder if it doesn't, it's irrelevant what the, what the actual alcohol content is. It's the same thing like if you buy, you know, like vanilla extract, you know, that's pure alcohol, but they don't have to like restrict its sale because you can't drink it. Oof. You know what I mean? I did not realize vanilla extract was considered pure alcohol. Yeah, a lot of extracts and stuff are just suspended in alcohol. And they just they just you know have the the flavor just suspended in there by soaking it in there, but you can't just drink a shot of it because it's so strongly flavored. I, I suspect there's probably something like that. Like there is probably an alcohol rating in this because I don't think you could have those volatiles that I was smelling coming off there like that without having some alcohol percentage in there. Maybe we should try lighting a spoonful on fire. I don't think it would. I, think it I don't be, think it would like. Yes, yeah, so I think it has to be pretty <laughs> high alcohol concentration for that to work. But Rocket fuel jelly. I right? am going to take a hard stance that I'm confident there is alcohol still remaining in there. Hmm. Okay. In its in its very active form. So I'll be darned. Um, which I actually may actually help be act as a preservative too. So there's that. Maybe uh, you know we're not in any danger from me having it around two years if that's the case. Although I think it was probably fine to begin with. Oh, I think it's fine. Absolutely. Eric's been eating stuff for Eric's eating Eric's still eating quail quail eggs from that time, so... Right. I mean, my, my mom made these homemade gel, jams and jellies, and we'd start to see, like, mold on top of them. We were just like, oh, that one needs open, and we just open it up, scrape off the mold, and eat the rest. You know, it's fine. Totally fine. Bro, botulism is one of the most potent toxins on the planet. Yeah. Botulism is no joke. Yeah, food safety. No I joke. know. You guys food always, safety always is real, give me a hard dog. time about food, food safety. safety is real. Yeah. I'm going to leave that full, like, stunned pause in there because that is literally, like, lethal shit. Like, you do not mess around with botulism. That's why they use it. That's why you get Botox, you know, injections to smooth out your wrinkles because it paralyzes that part of your face, dude. And that's, like, one nanogram they have suspended in, like, saline, you know? If you're just scooping that shit out of a jar, you know, that shit kills you in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, just scooping. scrape down below it, the, the mold. It was fine. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's something, that is where I draw the line that there's something wrong with your family. <laughs> like a jar of jelly costs you a, a buck 35. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Let's not risk our children's lives over it. We're all going to come down with botulism over two-year-old wine jelly. No, nah, I Oof. think we're fine. For Plus, sure. that, that really shouldn't happen if it's properly canned anyways. So that's, right. That must have been a bad day. It must not have been. Like you were saying, how you, you, don't, you your, don't risk it because you, know, you don't want to make sure that you got You got to be very specific with it. Like I said, I can stuff with enough vinegar and salt that nothing could possibly thrive in it to begin with. But if you have something that's, you know, especially a lower acidity, you know, with lots of sugars and stuff in it, you have to get all your chemistry right with it you gotta have a really good seal make sure everything's sterile and clean you know you gotta get it up to temperature you gotta leave enough headroom and all this shit for get a good vacuum seal blah 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 you know you gotta really be a little bit of a scientist about it Tori's good dozing off already i can tell oh yeah so that was 10 that was not even it was five seconds of science <laughs> dude after the after the eight mile rap battle my man i'm about ready to check out for good oh come wow. on the rap battle was fun <laughs> The longest part was just waiting for E to make an attempt, that's all. <laughs> but uh, I would say without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the... Never mind, we're going to the website, motherfuckers. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do want to check out I do want to check out the website because they have a little bit of a web presence. Not very much. Do they give the pronunciation? I, I don't think so. Bam. Oh, I thought that said mescaline for a second. It Ooh. said we put everything, sugar, spice, and muscadine. Nice muscadine. I don't know what that is. It's capitalized. That ought to mean something. Something. I don't know. I'm too dumb to know what that means. Yep, me too. Yeah, no they idea. have up to 25% off cases of wine. This is different artwork, though. They're, right? Yeah, uh, the Santa looks the same. I think we're missing Miss Claus in the back. And the kitchen in the background. Yeah. There's that whole backdrop. Santa got divorced in the two years since you got this. And he's, and he's living, living in a cardboard box. Now. Yeah. <laughs> With Christmas decorations. She took the house, but he's got the wine still, and that's all Santa needs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he might know a thing or two. Let's see. Anything else on this website? I assume that they sell wine. I assume that's the main draw, right? A winery, yeah. Oh, my God. They got a lot of stuff in their shop. Oh, they got all kinds of stuff. Dressings, dips, jellies, oh sauces, marinades. Wow. Way too much. We Sweeteners, can... gifts, and more. Perhaps there'll be a, a future. health and beauty. Sauce that we could do on, on the... 
show here. There you go. I gotta look and see what muscadine is. Call it Duplins. Duplins. Duplin. Duplin. It might be Duplin. It knows. very well could be. Who knows? Yeah. Muscadine is a grapevine species native. Okay, so they're grapes. They're a breed of grapes. Oh. Okay, interesting. I'm glad we learned that at least. But um, without, a nice takeaway. Yeah. yeah. Without further ado, it's time for the ratings portion of the show. Eric, do you want to get us uh, first with your rating for this? We'll see how much hate I get for this. Um, What's it going to be? Yeah, like I said earlier in my tasting what notes, I am not a huge jelly fan. Um, what about jam? Or jam. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, Warm up the band. Here comes the jam. I like, I like salty and savory, and although this has wine, which isn't a bad thing, um, in my book anyways, I think it's can only help it. Yeah, I give it like a six and a half. I mean, it's it's okay. It's better than I guess the average jam or jelly. So, okay, seems fair to me. Uh, it's not something I'm gonna go out of my way to go get, but uh, it was all right. Wow, Tori, what'd you think? Wow, we. Well, I liked it. I really liked it, and I wasn't expecting to like it. I don't know why, but uh, I'm not a real. I'm not the biggest fan of wine. Too so classy for you. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just wine isn't really my thing. But yeah, I was really, really pleasantly surprised. I probably wouldn't go out of my way for it either. My main source or my main usage source of 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 J, of course, is going to be in the famed PB and J. Okay. And for that J is going to be a very specific J. It's going to be an apricot J. Gotcha. Got a boy. Thank or you. Apricot grape. I was maybe bring that up. Strawberry is good. But yeah, yeah I don't so, like any of them. So this would find a home for me. I mean, it would be prime time, of course, that week we're in now, the Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's, when you're waking up, a little hair of the dog that bit you, maybe throw that on an English muffin after you've fucking crushed it the night before with Yingling, and who knows what the hell else, ease big bottles of booze. So eggnog and bourbon, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, with all that being said, I liked it. And we don't rate sauces in time frames, right? Correct. <laughs> Sounds right. Within the dimension of space yeah. time, you fucking nerds. <laughs> times, um, a, times a fabrication anyways. Yeah, yeah. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. The it's only time relative. now is party time. There you go. There so go. Uh, like so that. with that with that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in the Christmas spirit. I'm gonna give this a snowman because it's an eight and it's damn good. Very nice. Ha. Huh. Yeah, for me, uh I, I'm right there with you, Tori. I'm glad you brought up the apricot or apricot jelly. I like saying apricot just because it reminds me of apes. Makes me think that there's my my parents always used to joke that apricots were squirrel tails for whatever reason. You know how weird parent things they do. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, my parents had a weird thing with eating squirrels when I was growing up. <laughs> we had like an orange juice that was squirrel juice too. I don't know what it was with them and orange things being squirrels, but they they used to tell me that apricots were squirrel tails hmm. and now it's your favorite sauce color and you're just one squirrely guy how about that I, yeah that's true i didn't put that together with that being my favorite sauce color but i i do think that apricot jelly is a really tasty treat especially with a uh crunchy peanut butter i do like a good pb and j i'm a i'm a sucker for those i'm a sucker for smuckers and uh what are you giggling at? i like that, that. Was a i like good, that, that was that's good. a good one that was a good one. sucker for smuckers i also do like a good uh, I'm more a fan of the jams rather than the jellies. I like to get the actual fruit pieces in there because I got some nice tight teeth that I can chew on the bits yeah, with. Hate them. Hate them worse than jelly. <laughs> so uh, I, I do like a good grape. I do like a blackberry. I'll do a raspberry. And I particularly, like you said, like an apricot. And to me, I don't really feel like this fits anywhere in my lineup. Like you said, I, I really only get jell- jellies if I'm going to. I don't like them on toast in general. I like a, I like a savory toast more so. So I wouldn't be having this on toast. I would have it on a peanut butter and jelly, potentially, but I don't I don't think I want this, you know. I got one for you. Okay. Brie cheese at a Christmas party. All yes. Right. Okay. That'd yeah, I could be see really that. Good. Now that actually I could see something like that. And I know we always throw out cheesecake. I don't know if this would be as good on cheesecake, but you know mm. some of the creamy notes to kind of tone down the more potent booziness for me would be pleasant, I think. Yeah, for me, uh, I think I'm going to have to throw it out there as a snowman that um, he got clipped by a snowplow because he's going to be a three. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got wow. His, man. He got his side creamed off. He's like, he's going to be a three. <laughs> he got hit by Santa and his reindeer. I thought maybe you were going to say like carved away and left it as a seven. But no. no like, yeah. I was like, okay. Like, no, he's a three because he's noble. a snowman. Yeah, I, I see where you're at. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a three. I wouldn't be. I wow. just think if like regular perfectly 
plain, you know, Smucker's Concord Grape Jelly is a five, and we want to go with that. I know this is a controversial road. We're Ooh, going down. I like where this is going. To and be it, continued. This is controversial, <laughs> yeah. but I'm saying, let's just hypothetically say if that was the baseline, which I think is fair. Oh. I, yeah, I think for this, uh, like I would, like you said, I would try it if someone made a little appetizer or d'oeuvre plate with it on there. I probably wouldn't voluntarily choose to use it if there was other selections. You know, if I was going to have if I wanted peanut butter and jelly and this was all I had, I probably wouldn't make one. And that may lend itself the whole cracker brie cheese idea may lend itself to the consistency. Yeah, to Christmas, I think that's wise. Yeah, man, Christmas you get orders. your spoon in there. I mean, it just runs right off your spoon. It's not like some a stiffer jam or jelly where, like we mentioned, you have to cut up on your piece of bread to eventually smear out. That's fair. True. So yeah. that may be all in the grand design, man. We may have missed it. All right. That's very fair. Yeah. So, yeah, for me, that's where it's going to be. That's what I think. A three. A three. Stone cold, brother. You know, so to man. highlight what I, where I'm coming at this, too, is like it's, it's too sweet, which I'm, I think I said, but I think there's maybe a missed opportunity here. I think it'd be really interesting if this was done with like a more robust tannin like darker wine I think you like very you know? bland foods Eric okay sure. I mean, you don't like anything too salty or too sweet you just want things that are like what, what do you like Eric wheat toast it's the long hunt things That's what I the, look for the foot what it's the long hunt it's what you it's what life's about finding what you like oh anyways okay all right <laughs> maybe a <laughs> little, little too to, uh, yeah, out too there. high brow for my dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and say it. I still don't get it. A little too bourgeoisie no. for my friend. It's apropos. There we go. It's apropos. Yeah. What can we say? I was listening also, to that. Also, uh, I, I had just gotten to that section of last week's episode. I was listening to it before you guys came over here. <laughs> you guys giving me shit. Uh, well, that's uh, what this pretty much podcast is about. Yeah, I know. Yes, that's the only purpose and of this Amy. podcast. Is the make, only purpose. Yes, to make fun of you and also hook you up with Tori's wife. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that's wild. Oh boy. Well, what else you guys got going on for Christmas? I know we talked about this. I think we talked about this a little bit last year. What uh, what do you got going on for this Christmas, Eric? I have a, um I spent way too much on Christmas gifts. Um well, thank I got, you. It's got some more coming in the mail. I Yay. did. I got you a Christmas gift, Adam. I know you're not into the whole gift Holy giving shit. thing, but I got you a gift. I'm okay with like one gift. I just don't like the idea of just like needlessly spending oodles of money for nothing to I clutter got, up someone's house. I got Tori's handmade gift commissioned in ohio so what? i gotta, I gotta go i gotta go i gotta go pay for Holy it and pick cow. it up hey, <laughs> don't spend your money Oof. pay your fucking bills first <laughs> wow commissioned commissioned so like um, a piece of artwork yeah i'm excited for that i think that'll be a, a good gift wow and, uh, i know wow. hard not to be um well it's it's you're gonna laugh when, when you see it <laughs> and uh you know yeah i don't know i'm looking forward to you get amy <laughs> I actually, it's funny. So, I, ring. yeah, no, I was going to. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you are messed up. <laughs> it's, a ring. it's made out of it's made out of steel for your job. Uh, she was a uh, work wife, a work wife ring. I expected her to absolutely hate the stupid dice tower, and then she's like so mad that she and now she went saying how she wants a dice tower, which I'm not about to print her a fucking Amy? dice tower. But yeah, famous dice hater. I know. Right, former dice lover, lover, reformed to dice hater, now coming back, now to coming back, dice. saying how hurt she was that she didn't have it. I think dice know, tolerator. She, she's just crazy. Anyways, <laughs> she likes playing with your emotions. What I want to do for her, which I think Tori can keep it a secret, is I'm going to print out some uh, nice Christmas tree ornaments, uh, the 3D printer for her. Aww. And I think he, I think uh, you know, they My like lips Christmas. are sealed, bro. Yeah, so. going to paint little kitties on them for her. Heck no, she can paint them herself. <laughs> yeah, she is. The She's artist. the artist. Yeah. yeah. That's fair to say. But yeah, I still have to 3D print her Christmas ornaments, and I have just my niece to buy a gift for, and my dad, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do for my dad. Probably, my dad, I'll get some food. I'll, I'll find some something that he likes. Easy. That's about it. Yep. What about you, Tori? What do you got going on for Christmas? What do I have going on for Christmas? I have a great stretch of time off for Christmas. Nice. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, I have... Uh, Boy, it's almost 12 days off in a row. 12 days of Christmas. Wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So you take into the consideration, you know, that, of course, two holidays and the week in between and the weekends, of course, that occur. Yeah, so I'm going to have a great, great deal of time off. Um, my wife and I are going to bring her up again. Uh, we are going to a, a little resort, uh, that is close by. Not real. I mean, not sort of close by, relatively. Um, yeah, so we're going to go there for a couple of Seven nights. Springs? No. Uh, what if the resorts are close by? Oh, boy. Oh, 
oh, okay, you're going out to West Virginia. Yeah. Nice. It's only an hour and a half away, believe it or not. Yeah, I know. It's pretty close. I've been yeah. there. Um, yeah. So we're going to get a couple of nights planned out there. That'll be nice to uh, get in there. That'll be after Christmas at that point. But yeah, man, some fun stuff. My family's coming around. Uh, I'll be doing Christmas Day dinner, of course. I'll be wearing a suit as per usual. And uh, yeah, just... I'm, I love Christmas, man. I love it. I'm going to go out and get 13 cases of beer. And, no, uh, you're not. 13 cases? No, That's maybe. an exaggeration, right? I may stretch it out. Uh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's why he owns a truck, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's loaded. A beer, yeah. Just load it in the back. <laughs> but it'll be a ball, and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, so. And, uh, yeah, hopefully there's a, there's a couple of video games on my Christmas list, so if anyone wants to step up to the plate, uh, I won't tell you no. Nice, nice. Uh, what? Death Stranding is one of them. Death what? Death, Death Stranding. I don't think I've seen that one. The one with Norman Reedus, Daryl. Oh, okay. And it's like an apocalyptic thing. Yeah, all right. I think I'm remembering that now. It's a it's a, a Metal Gear Solid dude, the guy who makes Metal Gear Solids. Okay. He he made that game too. Gotcha. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Some Japanese fella. Neat. Cool. Something for me to look up in the show notes now. Thanks. There you go. I have no idea. Never heard of him in my life. I don't even watch TV. Why See, it's I? been out for a couple of years. You don't even now. watch TV. How's the, the diary don't. of Miss Maisel going, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> All done. All watched. All done. You give it an Emmy. No, but it's done. What would you give it out of 10? Give it a, give it a soft spoken rating. Um, out of 10, I would give it a... It's it's around a 7. It's, it's decent. I'll have to take your word for it. a 7. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it this week for our Wait, first- what about you? Yeah, right. Oh, what are you cracking for Christmas? Cr- the, the Grinch here at the table has nothing to say about yeah, his Christmas plans. Yeah, Christmas Krampus. Bah humbug. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't want any gifts. I'm I don't want any go, this. I don't want any of that. Just I'm give me beer and cheese. Take some alms from... Who was the guy that was in the Christmas story? What was the guy's name? Bob Cratchit. Yeah, I'm going to go take some alms from them and kick his crippled kid in the leg. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, uh, yeah. Be nice. No, I'll probably go up and visit Sweet Mammy P, get some of her uh, meatballs, and probably go swing by my dad, say hi to him, and uh, yeah, that's about all I got going. Oh, my sweet... That's right. No, your, your comment about the, the meatballs, Sweet Mammy P's meatballs, yeah, that meatballs. was the one comment on the webpage. That's right. That this jelly... They yeah, were, they were going to use it with their like Christmas meatballs. <laughs> yeah, dial up that web page again. Yeah, uh, let's see. Made made meatballs, meatballs and cr- yeah, good eye. E. Oh shit, yeah. And they were to die for five stars rating. Holla at Deborah. I do think this would be good with something like really savory, you know, like fatty, like a meatball to kind of like cut down on what I was perceiving as a gross, uh, gross amount of alcohol in it. I guess. <laughs> I was looking for a better word. You doing a rap too? Duh. <laughs> I guess I tried. Trying better almost, than me. Did almost as good as he. <laughs> the long hunt, more like the long pause. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's all for the dramatics. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us this week for our Christmas episode with the questionably named. <laughs> it starts with a D. Duplin Christmas wine jelly. So with all that being said, Eric. Do you oh, have any yes, closing thoughts you'd like to share with the listeners? Closing thoughts. You know what? I, I actually, I, I kind of wanted to bring this up during the podcast, but I didn't have the opportunity. So I'm going to use some of my, as my closing this is thoughts. still during the podcast. <laughs> right? Technically. Um, <laughs> the extended cut. <laughs> yeah, the extended, the end, the after show. I, I always forget about this people for some reason. People have stopped listening. As soon as we dump oh. the ratings, people turn it off. For sure. For sure. Um, mm. No, I ordered Chinese food earlier this week, uh, you- like on Monday, and I got... My fortune cookies. Don't right? you dare! No, no, this is this is funny, right? The first one had no fortune. The second one Yikes. had Bad the luck. same fortune that I had gotten before. The Did difference you... between people who do and or achieve and, and don't are those that you know take action. Yeah, motherfucker, take action. <laughs> That's what I hear all day, every day, every fucking lo- week. Anyways, then my third one was also empty. No fortune. Jesus, that's bleak, dude. It's like that. It's you have like, no future. It's, it's like it was, yeah. It was, it was Maybe, like, it was really, like it was punctuation. really calling me out. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like punctuation. It's like, no, this is the only thing you need to do with your life, Eric. Let's take some action. Get your shit together. So, yeah, wow. I'm not usually like a big, like, you know, super that is pretty telling, like, spooky dude. or anything like that, but I was like, I gotta be honest with that's you. That's weird. I don't know if I have ever gotten a fortune cookie without a fortune in it before. That is like some weird punctuation shit right there around that message. And to get two out of three yeah. without a fortune? Super weird. Dude, I'll so. be honest with you. To steal a line from the office, I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. Oh, and yes. I will say that that is a little stitious in my books. I think that and is... how could it be the same one that I had the previous sign, weeks dude. before? I think that's a sign, my man. 
I gotta be honest with you. I don't. Uh, I don't say this lightly. I think that's a little sign from the big man upstairs. He might be poking you a little bit. That's why I'm selling my refrigerator. All right, Tori. <laughs> I can connect those dots <laughs> for sure. Well, now it's time for ah, touching thoughts with Tori. You got me. You got me. This would be good for fucking Christmas. But, you know, yeah, yeah. You got to do. You got to do it good because you got the elf on the show. Yeah. Well, my final thought has nothing to do with the elf on the shelf. However, it has to do with his boss. Good old jolly Saint Nick, our boy Santa Claus. And I know I'm speaking for myself, and I'm probably speaking for a great deal of us in the room, and probably those who are listening. More than likely, you probably believed in Santa Claus for what? Maybe the first 10, 12 years what do you mean, believe? of your life? <laughs> I mean, bear with me here. So, I mean, and it's a nice thought. I mean, I get it. You know, parents, you know, they got to do what they got to do to keep their kids in line. Whatever. The whole ethos around it. I love it. I love, yeah, of course, I love Christmas. Who, who am I to question Santa Claus? But a lot, I am going to ponder this question to you. So you believed in Santa Claus for the first, what, 11, 12 years of your life, and you can't believe in yourself for maybe, what, 10 seconds uh, for what you need to do for whatever that may be. You know, have ease message, get up off your ass and do something. Um, so, yeah, so if you can believe in, a, in an elf that lives in the North Pole and creates Xbox 360s and whatnot <laughs> in his workshop, and if that's all believable for that stretch of time, I think you have the opportunity and, you know, to believe in yourself because we do here. And, of course, we love you. And thank you for listening. That'll do it for me. Cool. Well, that was very touching. It's very good. Merry Christmas. Well, yeah, as always, you know, another, uh, we're getting close to another year end wrap up here. You know, always really thankful to have you guys listening to us. We hope you all have a happy Christmas or whatever other holidays you want to celebrate around this time of the year. And as always, thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll catch you next week. Oh no, it's the end of the show. Thank goodness there are several other episodes waiting just for you. Check out our Instagram. We like to have some fun over there. We post the sauce bottle pics if you're curious and the occasional meme. That's going to be sauce spoken official. Hey, you know, despite our humble nature, we are accepting donations, believe it or not. Look us up on PayPal. That's going to be at sauce spoken. Hey, and if you like what you hear, grease those palms, babe. Lastly, roll up your sleeves and get into the nitty gritty at sauce spoken.wordpress.com we have show notes and details check it out share us with a family member or a friend if you're enjoying it i'm certain they will too good night i don't know that's a fucked up thing to say maybe it is for me why would you do that <laughs> you knew that was gonna happen well, I didn't really think. Oh, about well, it. I just didn't really <laughs> think what would go on with it, guys. Oh, do you think it'll pick this up? Now you can uh, do the what the what looks inside there, Adam. It was a cool sound effect that he just, you know. Whoosh.